TFSEC can be not just only the tool which will tell you that your template is valid or not, but it can be also a decision point or be used as a decision point to make the decisions what to do next. In this episode, in this video, we will learn how to use OPA policies in order to cr start creating the decision points and make your pipelines very powerful. So stay tuned. So in two previous videos, we learned how to install TFSEC and start scanning the code and fixing the code. In the second video, we learned how to create a custom rule in order to check things more than we can with the default rule set from Aqua. In this episode, we will improve this approach even further because we're gonna go to use something very powerful. This something is called Open Policy Agent, in short, OPA. And OPA gives us not only the possibility to uh, provide this kind of check if something is correct, if something is wrong, because in this case we have like black and white picture. What we really want to have is like the shades of gray in the middle, because this is also important, because probably you may react a little bit different on the lower environments and a little bit different in the higher environments. And it's not only for like a quality of the code itself, but imagine the situation, we will not go with this in this uh, video, but maybe one day, imagine the situation that you allow your uh, developers to build something on dev environment what is worth only $50, but you don't have this limitation on higher environments and you can do it in one shot really so OPA policies OPA as a approach is of course open source project under CNCF one of the most important in my opinion one of the most um, underrated and this is caused by the way how those uh, policies, OPA policies, are created. Because for this we are using Rigo. This is a kind of specific language. Um, it's not that hard, but it's not that kind of... Let me say it this way. If you create OPA policy, you will see that the syntax is a little bit different and a little bit um, uncomfortable for people who are familiar with other languages. And for those who are not doing anything with code, is like totally uh, alien, really. So that's why the entry point into using OPA policies is a little bit high. You also need to have something what will evaluate this policy you rewrite in, with Rego and apply this thing into your pipeline. And here we are going back to TFSEC because TFSEC has um, the evaluation of the OPA policies built in. So we don't need to install anything, we don't need to add anything. This change a little bit what can be used, because not everything we can write, like for example, you have in the documentation of OPA, but I will show you very simple example, and I mean a very simple example, how to enhance your scanning possibilities with this and we will use our well-known example. So we will use the uh, S3 bucket, which we uh, fixed in two previous videos. And in this video, we will add something more. Because if you are familiar with AWS, um, we can use Terraform to create a S3 bucket. That's obvious, and we've done it already, right? So let me just go to, the, um, to our code of our example, and we have it here, right? So if you don't remember, just quick recap, we have this AWS S3 bucket um, resource type uh, called example, very creative, and we have the name of this bucket, my-tf-test-bucket, and then we had in the first version of our code we had only these tags here right we added all of those elements here because what tfsec said to us then we also ignored one of the checks 
and in the second video we added new check custom check which allows us to control what kind if we have environment tag at all and what kind of value this environment tag has so let's go quickly and see what we have there so this is in hidden directory tfsec and we have the code here right so um, we check if there is a tag um, with the value name environment and if this tag environment has any of those dev QA or prod tags inside but now we want to do something more right and as a simple example um, we will do something like that if you go into documentation of AWS uh, or you can believe me as I'm saying this we cannot use capital letters in the bucket name so let's change it quickly right now to use capital letters and maybe capital letter here right now why not okay so I will um, save it and if I uh, if I run my tfsec this will be not evaluated right because tfsec and our custom rules are not touching this element so what we will do now we will create a rigo policy or opa policy using rigo language to check if our s3 bucket is uh, actually the name of the uh, s3 bucket is actually provided in the proper format so without capital letters and we will do it in very very simple way really so uh, in order to do that i need to create um, yet another directory this directory is called policies okay and uh, and the difference here is um, for custom rules we had this directory tfsec right and then we had this default file and we could put there as many checks as we want um, in case of opa policies I would prefer and I would to um, ask you to consider a little bit different approach so we have this policies uh, directory there and in this uh, um, directory we will create a file for each policy really we should do it this way why because then you can provide to your team the policy libraries and use multiple policies in the way that you can manage all of them independently that is very important especially if we talk about scale uh, anyway we will create this policy right now so here i started my new file and let's go with the code so what we need is a package and this will define the name of the check so here we have custom dot aws dot s3 dot path name very creative one and now we can provide the code so what we want to achieve is to deny if the problem occurs so we need to uh, provide deny and for this deny we will have some response so this will be this response and now i'm ready to provide the rest of the code so what we want to check of course the, this will be the buckets and um, we, we will take all the buckets definitions from the code into the variable uh, bucket so how to take it i will use just as an input so input here means that go through the code and take everything what i define here so this definition is about aws s3 buckets and i want to iterate through all of them right so i have this now uh, i need to compare if the real uh, bucket name which i provided uh, in the code is exactly as it should be so with the lower case the whole name should be lowercase and i'm doing this in very very simple way so i have bucket name value of course it will iterate that many times as many um, buckets i have in my uh, template and what i want to check if this is not equal to lower and again bucket uh, dot name 
name dot value right very 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 simple check and now we are ready to create the message if this um, this will happen right so the message will say uh, bucket name must be lowercase very uh, creative again and now i'm ready to construct the response which will be response oh come on uh, which will be something like that um the result new so this is the result of the uh, evaluation right and in that i have message of course and the bucket name why i need that i could live without it without this last line but in fact this last line will create the response the format this response in that way that it will be very consistent in what tfsec is giving us by default okay so let's save this and now we have our policy written here there is a difference how we run tfsec right now in order to get all our uh, OPA policies. Um, when we use the custom policies provided by TFSEC itself, we just run TFSEC dot, right? Right now, uh, like TFSEC dot, right? Uh, right now we need to add something more. It is Rego policy um, directory parameter, and we need to provide what is the directory, okay? And as I said, in this directory policies, we can have multiple Rigo files and multiple policies there. So let's check what we have. Okay, and we have, of course, the bad uh, syntax here, my bad. So let me just fix it. Of course, it should be different parentheses. Um, stupid me. That's why I'm not developer. I do this kind of mistakes. Okay, let's run it again. Bam, done. And as you can see, we have one more check uh, right now and one potential problem is detected, okay? We have this problem here and you see that bucket name must be lowercase. Uh, it happened in main.tf in the third line. So right now we have even very specific point where the problem is, uh, what is the rego package for, for this and what is the rule right there can be multiple rules not only deny or allow this is very important okay so we have this okay so it looks like very similar like um, normal uh, tfsec check what we can do now is to quickly uh, fix our name to make sure that we are compliant with our policy so i change everything to lowercase and let's run our check once more and as you can see no problems are detected and we have 11 checks before we had 10 right so we added new with the uh, rego policy okay so Free, uh, free videos of TFSEC and um, creating additional, more customized approach to TFSEC are done. Uh, with the last one, we added OPA policy to make our um, checks even more defined, more well tailored for our needs, really. So now you can install TFSEC, run the check, create custom policies, create OPA policies. What is really cool here, TFSEC doesn't need from you to install anything else if you, use, if you want to use OPA policies. That's beauty of it. And you are now equipped with the tool and uh, the knowledge how to use the tool in order to make sure that you will not introduce um, misconfigurations into your infrastructure, what is critical, what is really critical. So please remember about that. My name is Paweł Pivos and this was the DevOps in Agile way. Thank you very much for joining me. Like, subscribe, comment, say, show me your policies, the policies you are the most proud of. I will be happy to discuss them with you and to the next video then.